I'm going to explain why you can't do the work and why you can't do the things that you really want to do. Like you might sit down at your computer at your desk and you're like, all right, today I'm going to get this thing done. And then you start doing it and then very quickly it's like your arm is just getting pulled away to click on that next tab and open up social media, Netflix, YouTube. The thing that you're getting pulled towards is just so powerful that you have no chance and this just keeps happening. So why can't you do the work? This is honestly like a really common problem. Like everyone in the world first of all has this, right? Until they figure it out. A lot of the time people ask me, they're like, Sam, how are you so disciplined and how do you work for like 12 hours a day, six days a week for like years on end how do you stay focused and how do you motivate yourself and how do you stay so disciplined and how do you do all of these things? But if I'm being completely honest with you, it's because I love doing it, right? When you love the thing that you're doing, you would rather do that than anything else. So you don't have a problem with focus and discipline and all of this other stuff. It's what you would do if you, even if you didn't get paid for it, honestly. You're obsessed about it and it's like, you're always getting pulled towards this thing. You can't not do it. So the secret really is love. It's all very well me saying, well, the secret is to, you know, to fall in love with what you're doing. How do you do that? Or how do you find out what you actually love? And what you want to do is you want to look at your behavior and your patterns and things like this. This is a really great way to find out what you're obsessed about and interested in and curious about. And what you can do is just go to your YouTube search history or your YouTube watch history. What sites have you been looking at, right? Look at your bookmarks that you have on your browser. The fourth one would be to think about your favorite movie. Now what's interesting about your favorite movie, human beings choose their favorite movie because they see themselves as the main character. Ask anyone what their favorite movie is and then look at the main character of that movie and look at the character traits of that character in that movie. And it will tell you more about somebody than they could probably tell you themselves, right? Then the fifth one is books you read. But not all books are equal. Some people have books and some of them they've never read. Some of them they've picked up and read a little bit of them and never picked up again. But then there are some books that people have read cover to cover, full, front to back. Those are the books that I'm talking about. You want to make a list of those books. And if you've ever read a book more than once, that goes at the top of the list. What else you can do? If you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, or even best friends, parents, right? People that spend a lot of time with you, maybe even co-workers, just someone who is in close proximity to you a lot. You want to ask them, what do I not shut up about? Number seven would be bank statements. So you want to look at these and then you want to look at where your money goes. You want to take some time to honestly do this. It'll be very like, it'll teach you a lot about yourself. And that's really the purpose of this exercise is to know yourself. Because where your time, attention, energy, and your mind goes and your money goes, these are things that you love. Why it all kind of revolves around what you love is because of the way that our brain is structured, like the brain's architecture. At the core of it, you have like your, your limbic system. And your limbic system is like the primal kind of brain that you have. The limbic system really creates emotion. And it's also what creates survival instincts. And these core kind of human primal desires and drivers that we have. The logic, rational kind of conscious mind that we have, it is booted on top of the limbic system. So if you took out the limbic system, the, the conscious system, it wouldn't operate properly. A human being wouldn't operate properly. And the key to this is, is to find out what you love, or more scientifically, what things your limbic system has developed an attachment to. Because our conscious mind sits, it's like booted on top of the limbic system, no matter how much logic or reason or planning or any type of human conscious effort that we put in 
our limbic system is just going to dominate, right? Because our conscious sits on top of that. So you're really screwed if your limbic system tells you to do one thing and your conscious, logical, rational mind tells you to do the other thing. That is why you can't do the work. That is why when you sit down at your computer and try to do the work, there is just this massive gravitational force just pulling you away. Your arm is just like moving and then clicks on a new tab, bam, you're out. It's because of this love. And how do you find out what you love? This. And why do you do this? So that you can know yourself. This is where it all begins. People that love what they do, do extremely well at it. They just love doing it. The secret to it really is to love the doing of it so much that the result just happens. And the people who love what they do, they get the biggest results out of anybody. Not because they're trying to get them, but because they love doing the work. Because it's the work that creates the result. So the people that love the work always get the best result. The people that love the result, they can never really get it because it requires work to get it. So I think the answer to, circling back around, the answer to this question. Biggest problem is procrastination and just having a hard time actually wanting to do the work. It's because you're probably trying to do something that you don't want to do. You probably don't love it. And this is really where it all begins. It's the seed. And if you don't know yourself, here's how you can start. You always want to be observant of this. You know, knowing yourself isn't a query that you can ask yourself, you consciously. You can't go, conscious, tell me who I am and what I like and what I love. Mm, it doesn't return anything because that library of information is in the limbic system and the conscious can't access the limbic system. So how do we query this library? You really need to look at your behavior. Behavior patterns over time. That's the key to your limbic system and the key to finding out who you are and what you love. And once you find this, honestly, your whole world will change and nothing will ever be the same again and your life will be a whole lot better. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, click that like button. And if you want more videos like this, then subscribe, click that subscribe button. 